Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. A little short video tonight about having two interactive fill tools like on the same side. Like this looks like it's going behind here and then it's going outward whitely. It's kind of, you know, it's a strange phenomenon that you can't really do two of them. But what I'm going to do is uh, take the three-point curve and I'm going to go from there to about a node and then I'm going to hold down. You know what? I'm going to go take it back. I'm going to go from the center. The center of that over to the first node. And then I'm going to hold down the control button and get I'm holding down the control button and it's getting a perfect arch. Okay? Now we're working in the center of the page. We'll bring in our indexing lines. I always keep them turned off but they're always normally right there in the middle and we're going to Control D and make a duplicate, but we're going to rotate this. It's kind of strange you think about rotating around a circle. Well, if we rotate 180 degrees, we get that shape. Now, color it in and don't really need it. I need to change my smart fill to that blue. And his question was, so if you use the interactive fill tool to get the darkness down here, you can't really put a white up here to make it lighter. Or can you? Let's try this. And this is what I did on this one. I am going to, you know what, I'm going to take away my outline. Just so I have my feel. And I am going to take a rectangle. And then I'm going to shift select my color and I'm going to intersect it. And then I've got an intersect of that color. Now I can take my interactive fill tool and I'm going to go from a white over here. I didn't hit the color. Uh, let me back up. Sometimes that box gets in the way. There we go. But now I need to make it blue on this end. So we need to bring it up. And the only hardest part is, is going to be to match these two colors to make it seem like they're going to meet. But it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And then just move that over and you see what you got. But you don't have a good match of that color. But we can take the original one, if you could select on the original one, and get to your Smart Fill tool. It'll go back to that original, and we can just kind of bring this down where it kind of blends that color in. So they look, kind of look the same. We're going to take away our outline by right-clicking the mouse. And we're going to group this together, Control-G. And then we're going to Mirror it one way, mirror it the other. Well, I didn't make a duplicate. Control D. Then mirror it one way, mirror it the other way, and take this, grab that sharp point, and have it snap to that sharp point. That one might even look better than my first one because it's you can actually thinking of, the, of, of this thing being twisted, and this is going underneath it and coming back out, more like a kind of like a cone shape. A slip and slide going through a tunnel. Anyway, so you can put two interactive fill tools on the same object to make it look that way with the intersect tool. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. Thank you for watching.